We're here at Sun and Fun, and you know, you can't get through a busy day of looking at a lot of airplanes without a cup of java. So we had to stop here and talk to Rob Riggin. I'm Dan Johnson, and I wanted to enjoy a cup of coffee. And I had to stop back and just admire the display here, which he went and built like a kit airplane, only the wings are a little bit short. You gotta learn to stretch those babies out a bit more. But uh, Rob, tell us a little bit about your company and uh, and where you're based out of and what the goals are. Well, sure, this is a Flying High Coffee, and um, uh, I kind of view it as the uh, uh, Girl Scout cookie program for aviation. <laughs> but we use coffee, not cookies, for obvious reasons. And, um, and so what we're really doing is we're trying to uh, harness aviation's uh, consumption of caffeine and instead of sending those profits out of the industry, we want to turn them back into the industry in the form of funding for our own nonprofit groups. Cool. What kind of groups do you support? Well, we've supported in the past uh, Able Flight. Uh, also, I love those guys. They're wonderful, incredible program, 501c3, Girls with Wings program. Unfortunately, they're not running anymore, uh, but that's one of the problems we're hoping to try to solve a part of is to, is to um, identify the passion-driven 501c3s and, and programs and prevent them from, um, you know, having to stop doing the, the good work they're doing uh, by giving them money. We've also given material support to, of course, uh, EAA, um, the AOPA, uh, we've given support to the Women in Aviation, the 99s, and, and several type groups. Uh, basically, any group that's a uh, 501c3 in aviation and, and, and doing aviation outreach are our target for funds that, that, that we have. And so you're diverting some of your profits from the sale of coffee products to those uh, organizations? Yeah, and it's no small amount either. It's not a, it's not a, a gimmick in any way. This is really to not generate revenue. Deal. No, we're talking about uh, roughly about a third of the company's profit. Wow. So I look at it as aviation is really a shareholder in the company. Company, and that's the that's the commitment of the company. So? Very cool. We're registered as an L3C, which is a low profit, limited liability company. That means that the mission comes first, and then profit. Low profit. That sounds like a lot of aviation, actually. <laughs> it's all Just aviation, kidding, right? folks. <laughs> We're all trying to run a serious business here. <laughs> but it's delicious coffee. What am I drinking here? It is. Well, there's really no trick to good coffee. Um, we've all become accustomed to the standard. Uh, coffee that's burnt or stale uh, or bitter or otherwise unpleasant and we choke it down because we have to but if you drink coffee when it's freshly roasted it makes all the difference in the world coffee will last about um, six weeks after it's been roasted before okay. the flavor really drops off I didn't and know that flat. Fact. that's yeah. interesting this so is certainly good, we roast so. right to order it never sits on the shelves um, you know it's not sitting in the grocery store on shelves it's just sitting on the, 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 the orders come in on our website uh, we roast them and get them right out to you fresh, and that's what makes the difference. So that's how I would do it now. If I went, boy, i got to have some more of this. Uh, tell me again what I'm drinking here. Uh, you're drinking a Sumatra dark roast. So this, this coffee came from Indonesia, um, came as a, in green yeah. bean form. All coffee moves around the world in green bean form. Okay, that's very a more shelf durable. Stable. Okay, exactly. Uh -huh. And then Shipping. it gets roasted. Our, our roaster's in Austin, Texas, right in the middle of the country. So we can ship just as easily to the West Coast as the East Coast. And all of our sales are done online. So we have very low overhead. Uh, we get the product right out to you and it's, it's always fresh and good. Okay, so let's say I get home and I go, you know what, that was a nice memory down there in the uh, Zenith booth with the uh, uh, with the coffee I was drinking here with Rob and I've learned a little bit more about it. i got to have some now. What do I do? Just an easy Google of Flying High Coffee or Aviation Coffee. Probably almost anything will get us get result, get us in the results there. But and then um, I can order directly on the web? Order directly on and the what web. what sizes do you sell it in? And One like pound that. bags and five pound bags. It's okay. um, typically the best, best deal when you're ordering online um, is to go for like a a three, four, five pound order, you know, to, to wash away the cost of shipping. Uh, we also offer free shipping over seventy-five dollars online. Okay, and uh, what what is a five pound five pound bag of coffee going to cost me? Uh, right now, the coffee is um, it's a. Uh, Coffee prices are always fluctuating. I think it's about twelve dollars a pound right now. Okay, so folks, check with the website to find out what the prices are then. But that's not an unreasonable number for a five-pound bag. Is it ground already or not ground, or how's that part work? Well, we can grind it. Uh, certainly, there, there are people that don't have grinders, but uh, I always recommend that people grind their own at home or in their office. They right get the freshest they... taste that way. Exactly. All right. Once again, give us the website address. Uh, it's it's flyinghighcoffee.com. Okay. And we're talking with Rob Rickens here at uh, Sun and Fun. I'm enjoying a cup of coffee. You might too. Check it out. You can find lots more about all kinds of aviation, affordable aviation, on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Rob and I here at Sun and Fun. Thank you, Dan.